This is one of those plants at the Botanic Gardens you can almost hear before you see because it's covered in rainbow lorikeets hunting for the rich nectar. It's called Shotia brachypetala or brachypetala. It comes from South Africa, Zimbabwe and Mozambique and it has a number of different common names and they all refer to something slightly different about this tree. So it's called the weeping boar bean and it is a legume so it does produce um, bean-like capsules after flowering and the name weeping refers to how much nectar is produced by these flowers which leads to another one of its common names the drunken parrot tree and that's that name comes about because not only is it covered in parrots but there's so much nectar in these flowers that they can ferment on a sunny day on the tree and it leads to sort of slightly drunken parrots rolling around on the lawn. It's a deciduous tree, it doesn't get very tall, about 10 to 15 metres maximum. Loses its leaves during the winter time here in Sydney. It usually flowers in spring, but it can be a little bit unpredictable and sporadic in its flowering. The red flowers, along with the copious amounts of nectar, help attract birds to the flowers, but the flowers are also eaten by monkeys in the native habitat. After flowering, it produces a woody pod with a hard seed inside, which is edible, although it's low in protein, but high in carbohydrates. It's certainly eaten by monkeys and other animals where it grows naturally in Africa. So this is Shotia brachypetala. You'll find it next to the creek in the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney, but just listen out and you'll be able to find it pretty easily.